When you add or subtract measurements, your answer must have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point as the value with the fewest digits to the right of the decimal point. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, let's go ahead and we'll look at a problem and we'll kind of do it on the fly with 35B. Okay, in this problem, you have three masses being added. You have 258 0.3 kilograms you have 257.11 kilograms and then 253 kilograms so we got three three masses to add together now it really doesn't matter here if you want to use your calculator or if you do it out by hand okay we're gonna see what the three of these values will add to. So go ahead and take a second right now to add those up. Okay. So we got 768.41 kilograms. Now the rule stated that we can only we can only leave our measurement as far to the right of the decimal point as the initial value that had the least amount of digits past the decimal point. So of these, top, middle, and bottom, who had the least amount of digits past the decimal point? The last one, yeah. If you look at this one, the number just cuts off in the ones position. So normally the decimal point would be there and there's nothing after it. So this one technically has the least amount of digits past the decimal point. Now, how does that factor into our answer? Well, because of this, we're only going to put an answer that stops at the ones position as well. So 768.41 will stop at 768 kilograms. Now, the final move that we do to this problem will be putting into scientific notation. And hopefully we're uh, pretty decent at this by now. We have 7.68 times 10 to the, anyone? Second, right. Okay. Now, why does this happen? Why would we have this go down where we have to base our answer on this? Well, in chemistry, you have various types of equipment, all of which has different qualities. Look on that table right there. I have three different analytical mass balances, okay? The one on the left, that one is utilized in colleges and universities and research labs. That mass balance right there is about a $1,500 balance, and I'm not kidding at all. The one in the middle is more of your high school kind of do-everything chemistry balance. The one in the middle is kind of like a mid-grade, and then the one on the right would be your standard middle school type mass balance. It doesn't go very far in terms of its precision. The university balance, how precise that is, it goes all the way to the 10 thousandths place. So you could literally, if you had like a piece of dried spaghetti, you could break a little corner off it and put it on the little tray in there and you'll register a weight for it. In the middle, if you did that, it probably wouldn't register because it'd be too light. And on the one on the, the middle school level scale, no way. So basically, if we look at these three measurements right here as being precise, less precise, and way less precise, we have to base our answer on our worst piece of equipment. Because I don't know if this is 253.2 or 252.8 and it just rounded for me. I don't know. So that's why I can only go that far with my measurement to say it's 768. I don't know what the decimal is after it. Okay, Because my, my weakest piece of equipment I used only went to the ones place. So that's all I can report in an answer. Okay, All right, that's 35B. Let's, let's do 36, 36B as well. All right, this one's subtraction, and we got 5.236. Remember, everybody should be writing with me, okay? Staring at me doing a problem does not make you any better at it. All right, so we got 5.236 centimeters minus 3.14 centimeters. You tell me, which one has the least amount of digits past decimal point, the first or the second number? Second, yeah, it has only two past the decimal point, and the third one is three. So that means that's what our answer is going to look like. So go ahead right now, if you got a calculator, or if you want to do it out by hand, that's your call. Go ahead and subtract those two numbers, 5.236 minus 3.14.
And what I get on my calculator screen is 2.096 centimeters. And we just said that this has to be kind of chiseled down into the right amount of digits past a decimal point. So it wouldn't be 2.096, it would be 2 point, you tell me. What's the digit past the 6? Past the 9? A 6. Does that round up or down? Up. So it would be 2.10 centimeters. Okay? Pardon? Yeah, because this is, um, remember, this is based on the hundredth from this problem. This is what we're going to base our answer off, one that looks like that, because it went 2 past the decimal. It went to the hundredth place. Okay? All right, now, do whatever you got to do to remember that this is for addition and subtraction. Okay? Only. All right. Now, I want you to flip the page over to page 42, because we're going to learn about the other two operations, which, to be honest with you, is going to account for about 90% of the problems that we do um, on paper. We'll have some multiplication and division in them. The addition and subtraction, we'll utilize this in lab. Like if I ask you to measure, you know, three liquids and put them together, you'd have to use this in order to get a final answer. But if we were doing just straight up problems on paper, utilizing formulas, chances are we'd be doing the multiplication and division. So go ahead, at the top page 42, I want you to put a star next to that first sentence or underline the sentence. Something that when you glance at it will remind you that how important that rule is of multiplication and division. Now it says when you multiply or divide numbers your answer must have the same number of significant figures as the measurement with the fewest significant figures. So this one takes the decimal point completely out of it and instead now we're relying on significant figures. Okay, We're scanning every value that goes into our problem for sig figs and then we're going to get our answer based on the one that has the least. So let's do 37a together at the bottom of the page there. We have two quantities being multiplied. We have 24 meters times 3.26 meters. Alright now hopefully you can see how important your calculators will become when you get math problems like this because Nobody really wants to sit around and do huge problems out like this um, that take three minutes when your calculator could have knocked it out in 30 seconds. So we got 24 times 3.26, and I'm getting 78.24. What would be my unit on this? Meter squared. Now, the question is how we're going to base our answer. Of these two values, the top and the bottom, which one has the least amount of significant figures? The top, 24, how many does it have? Two. two. And because this one has two and this one has three, we're going to base the answer off the one with less, off the one with two. So the question is, how do I make 78.24 into a two-digit number? What are the two most important digits? Seven and eight. So we could say 78 meters squared, couldn't we? No. Okay, we could, yeah. Um, there we go. we got to do one final step, which is changed into scientific notation. How do we do that? 7.8 times 10 to the first. Good. Okay. All right, and this is how it would be on the paper. Okay. Train yourself to remember that from now till June, any number greater than 10 or less than 1 goes into scientific notation. Okay. I would not put, like, if I got an answer of 5.26, I'm not going to put 5.26 times 10 to the 0. There is no reason to add that extra stuff. So, Above 10 and less than 1, scientific notation. Yeah. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Okay, let's do a division one. We'll see how that works out. Let's do, um, whoops, let's do, sorry, 38A. 38A. Okay, 4.84 meters divided by 2.4 seconds. Okay, no big deal here. Just crank it through on a calculator. 4.84 divided by 2.4 to get an answer. My calculator is something like this. 2.016666 repeating forever. And then uh, my unit on this, 
Yes, meters over second. So meters per second. Okay. Now, if we look at the two values going into this problem, first or second, which one will I base my answer off of? The second one here. Because it has less sig figs than this one. It has two. Therefore, how would I report my answer then? Two. Anybody? Two. 2.0, that's it. Yeah, just chisel it away to two sig figs. 2.0 meters per second, you're done. Circle it. Okay, does that make sense? All right, now, you know, get this cemented into your head. This is for multiplication and division, okay, only. This relies on sig figs, and this one from up here, this relied on decimal places all right so do what you can to remember that all right any questions